Hello, I'm Win I Lay of IBM. Today I'm going to talk about invoking REST services with IBM BPM. I'm going to give you an overview of this capability. We're going to use the Web Process Designer to do this using the component tree that came out in late 2016. The primary audience for this session is technical. Here are some key takeaways. There is a wizard that takes you through the service discovery and configuration. It uses Swagger or Open API standards. It automatically generates artifacts to connect to the service endpoint. And finally, this is all done with graphical configuration. Let's get started. In the Web Process Designer, under the Services section, you can create a new external service. This allows you to do discovery on three types of technologies, REST, Web Services, and Java. For REST, you're going to need a Swagger file on your local machine in order to do the discovery. So what is Swagger? Swagger, now called OpenAPI, is just a spec that describes REST APIs. Here's an analogy. WSDO describes web services, and Swagger describes REST. The Swagger files can be written in YAML or JSON format. They're pretty similar. Um, the format can be read by people as well as machines. Here's an example of a Swagger file in YAML. By the way, IBM BPM's new REST API is also built on Swagger. So I'm going to select a Swagger file to discover with the wizard. I'm going to go with Apixu, which is a public weather API service. Click Next, Next, Finish. And done. The discovery wizard automatically generated some artifacts to make it easy for you to work with this REST API. The first artifact is an external service, which I named Apixu. This artifact basically describes how this REST service behaves. The second artifact under the server section is a REST server artifact. And this describes the uh, server on which the REST API runs. And finally, the third set of artifacts is business objects. These are all generated data types that are used as input and output by the REST API. Now let's build out the integration. I'm going to create a service flow, which I'll call get current weather. Within this flow, I'm going to drag in a task. I'll call this one uh, call a Pixu. And in the property sheet, uh, under the implementation, I'm going to select a service task activity type. And I'm going to select the Pixu external service and the operation current weather from that external service. In the data mapping section, I see that there are two inputs of type string, and then there's one complex output. So in my variables, I'm going to create some variables so I can pass the, to the data mapping. The first one, I'll call it query, and then I'll specify a default value. Um, in this case, I just need to specify a, a city, so I'll say Chicago. And then I'm going to create a private variable called API key, where I'm going to put my API key in for the Apixu service. And then finally, I'm going to create a uh, output variable called result, which I will map to this uh, the special complex object that was automatically generated. Now I will uh, hook up that task to the uh, service flow. I will pass my new variables in to map to the data in the Apixu call. OK. And now I'm all set. Let's try it out. Go through the debug window. I press uh, step into, and service is done. And look at that. I now have a result that has the current conditions for Chicago. Now let's do an end-to-end -end scenario. So I'm going to have a user interface where a user enters in what city they want to look up. And then it's going to make the lookup call, invoke the weather service, and then return the results. You can see in Process Designer that when we get to the step of invoke weather lookup service, it calls the get current weather service that we just created. 
we're also going to pass the city variable and then with the results we pass it back to the coach to display. Now let's run it. I'll enter a city, Chicago, and do a lookup. And there we are. It's partly cloudy, 41 degrees. It's actually kind of overcast. Now if I enter another city, let's put in Miami. Let's look that up. Wow, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, we did it. Let's recap. The main message is that connecting to REST services is easy with IBM BPM. We went through a few key aspects, including the discovery wizard, the use of Swagger or open API standards, the automatic generation of artifacts, and the graphical configuration. I'm out of time now, but stay tuned for hopefully an upcoming video on some advanced topics regarding REST, such as working with your own Swagger docs and programmatically invoking REST services. Till then, my name is Win An Lei. Uh, thanks so much for attending, and I will see you out there at bpmania.com.